So coming to you that last time, it actually for the first time, I went a week without zero symptoms. There we go. Head, head back. Head back. Did pretty good last time. How'd you how'd you feel? Tell me how sore you were. Pretty beat up? Um, I was sore, yes. Yeah. But I think it helped, you know, the I was in salt. Yes. Uh, it helped that same day that I did. Uh, and then sleeping on soft cushion. Okay. Like on soft mattress. Yeah. Helped. Okay. So and then that um, and then throughout the week I was nervous how I'm gonna feel the next day, my symptoms, you know? Yeah. Uh, and then but it was good. Found the next day I was, you know, just how I'm gonna feel the next day. Okay. Started, you know, it was good, 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 good. For a good week, you know, okay. it was like no symptoms. Right. Um, and then Friday, you know, I started to come back. Saturday okay. and then Monday was really bad, you know. Okay. So now it's starting to go back up a little bit. Right. And the symptoms I'm talking about, I don't know if I mentioned the last oh. time. It's more. Um, I mean, this is three years I've been dealing with for a yes. full year, year and a half. I was dealing with like brain fog, lack, lack of concentration, vision. You know, yes. not yes. probably see, you know just kind of like cloudy, you know. Um, and off balance a lot. You know, I've seen three different ENT doctors, uh, two neurologists. Uh, it was just for my eyes. I've seen two specialists recently, like a month and a half ago. I saw one specialist in Orlando. Um, and you know, like as the three years, the symptoms start to come down, but still, it bothered me throughout the day. I would have it for two hours, three hours. But the first two years, it was so bad that I would have to lie down for like eight, nine hours. You know. So coming to you that last time, it actually for the first time, I went a week without zero symptoms. And that's why I know doctors, whichever doctor I saw recommended um, anxiety pills. Mm -hmm. But I knew it wasn't anxiety because, you know, um, just the things that I'm doing, like physical stuff, mm -hmm. and I would, I would be in a shape, like a mm -hmm. really bad shape. So um, that's why I never, I have the anxiety pills, but I never took it because I know if it was anxiety, right. how come when I'm running treadmill, my right. symptom comes back? Right. Or if I'm like swimming, my symptom comes back. Right. So it's now I'm here again for a second time. You know, follow up. Take a deep breath in. Head back for me. Head back. There you go. Let the head back for me. Exhale. There we go. Head back. Head back. Oh. Yeah, deep breath in. Here we go. Two more. Exhale. Exhale. Uh. One more time. Head back for me. Exhale. Head back. Wow. Deep breath in, exhale, twist. I know, breathe. There we go. Uh huh, good, uh huh, good. Breathe, move a little bit, exhale. I'm gonna dance, there we go. All right, breathe in deep, and exhale. Just a little bit to the right, not too bad. Just a little bit over here on the right. Real gentle. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? There we go. Let the chin up. Here we go. There you go. Let this chin up for me. Here we go. It's okay. Here we go. It's okay. Much better. Much better. It actually cracked this time, too. Yeah. No, you yeah. did great. You did great. We're just going to rub now. There we go. There, a little smaller, just I want perfection. I'm a, I want zero. No, hmm. there's no dents that are normal. All, yeah. all spasms are something that need to be untangled. No tangles are normal. They brought knuckles in, not the knuckles. Oh man, I thought the thumb was terrible. <laughs> I say we, I say we, I don't know, live in Sarasota for a month. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's, this is, um, I wish I had a bottle, like I said last time, I wish I had a bottle of Dr. Ed to give you, you know, rub the yeah. genie bottle and 
I'll pop out and work on you. <laughs> Get back in your bottle, Ed. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it, it, is, it is the problem with chiropractic. That yeah. There's no, you know, it's, 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 a, it's an art form. And yeah. what I do, my art looks different than even my sister's art or my dad's art. We all have our own little take on it. But, yes. you know, there's a wide diversity in art. And chiropractic becomes very diverse. And there you go. I know. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I, yeah. I, I adjust before massage because I want to see how, how well your spine is moving without being loosened up first. Yes. Um, and it's doing much better. The reason why it comes back is because the posture is incorrect. Yes. So we have to participate. And the more I work on you, it'll be easier for you to do what needs to be done at home yeah. to prevent your body just going right back out of alignment. It's just difficult. You have a strong neck. I got your head there. We go. That's where your neck belongs. Well, maybe today we'll teach you a little bit about the neck denaral, and that'll be a way you can, at home, have a like almost like a toothbrush, to retain the work I do on the table. So it's a it's a retainer. Otherwise, your vertebrae just go right back where they're used to being. So it emulates what we're doing right now. It holds you in this curved position and then we have to hold you here for about 20 minutes. You'll get longer benefits from this adjustment today. All right. Okay. I like to work on people a few visits just to make sure their spine is limber enough so yes. that it's safe enough to do it. I understand. Really I know. Well, the good news is that I'm not going to touch the parts that were injured. Like I said last time, it's not bad to be apprehensive. You need to be apprehensive about people touching the older parts of your spine, and that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing to be cautious about who is allowed to touch your spine. Tell me what was going on with your legs. I know you mentioned a yeah, little bit about your legs. I've been, I've been, um, since I was young, maybe 10, as I'm getting older now, it's getting too much, you know? Uh, it's just like it gets uncomfortable when I'm lying down. Where? It gets right around my knees, these areas. The sides? Yeah, yeah, right here. Um, it just gets uncomfortable. Or like I constantly have to move it. Okay. Like like change position. Okay. Um, I mean, I've seen doctors. They might say it might be arthritis, but um, I don't know. But uh, recently, like a month ago, I noticed stretching. Okay. Uh, like when I get that pain, like I'm lying down to sleep and I get it. Yes. And I got to constantly move my leg for maybe half an hour, an hour, constantly. Mm -hmm. And it bothers me when I sleep, mm -hmm. when I'm trying to sleep. Uh, so, um, and then I noticed one night, you know, I said, let me stretch my legs. I start stretching, spend 10 minutes stretching my, my calves here, my mm -hmm. hamstrings. Mm -hmm. And then a couple of minutes later, I noticed that sensation that Mm -hmm. That feeling where I have to move my legs. Going down? Yeah, it just, okay. it was gone. So A lot of that has to do with your lower back. You know, yeah, the, yeah. We, I think we can, you know, if we can clean up some of the lactic acid in the leg, yeah. it definitely can symptomatically help that. But 
it's ultimately predicated on your lower back. Yeah. The health of your lumbar spine, L4, L5, the sciatic nerve, yeah. is what creates that tension. You're doing good, keep breathing. It's just like carpet cleaning today, is just another level, another yeah, layer. It's like a, a good week for those uh, spots and marks to go away. Mm -hmm. Ready for another layer. <laughs> <laughs> Came back for more. And I pay for punishment. I know, I know. I'm like Tigger. I'm the only one. <laughs> Nobody wants to do it. You know, like I was thinking like last time when you, when you put me in that little, even like a mock guillotine you weren't yeah. even i was like i, I got panicked <laughs> and you weren't even like <laughs> yeah i could see if you actually were like yeah, just, that's, right. an, that's an incredible amount of force yeah that i regret that every day mm. like, uh, should have tapped yeah well you, like i said i, I talked to another guy that is a jujitsu guy and he was like yeah same he said exactly the same thing you were saying he's like yeah. sometimes you can't yeah he's like it's already done yeah mm. Sorry, people are gonna look at you all weird at Publix and yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's got a hit keep mark on the side of his neck. Kind of weird. How's that feeling? Uh, I'm watching your right. expression. Not pleasant. Not pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's funny because some people are like, oh, it's totally fine. I think it depends on how bad your how much is in there. Yeah, your tissue is. This is All right, let's go face down. It's going to be those, one of those visits where I'm going to be working my butt off. This is a, I've gotten the first layer out, and now we got to get the middle and deeper layers out. And it's just, you have to excavate from the bottom up, and so you have to draw it up from the bottom to pull out the lactic acid and pull out the soreness and the, the reasons for why your body wants to remain round and forward and then making this all more comfortable so that you can be in the right position so that you can effectively stretch. It all goes together. There. Hello. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. I, <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> that. Feel it? It's like buried. There. It's like speed bumps. <laughs> It's like the surface layers are gone. I can actually, I can actually feel it better. I can feel yeah. it better because now there's more. The clothes are out of the way, and I can actually see what's underneath better today. Right there. Marbles, right? <laughs> yeah. Right there. you feel in your legs originates because this clog is here yeah this is not 
Yeah, just the oldest injuries in your back. They die hard. They go away difficult. <sighs> I get my punishment every day. People are like, he doesn't understand. He's just dishing it out. He's, he's enjoying this. I, I get my punishment every day, okay? <laughs> to anybody that knows what this feels like, it's me. I get worked on by my father, and he has no mercy on me. <laughs> he has no, he doesn't back off. If I say, Dad, take it easy, be quiet. <laughs> There's no tapping with my father. Round two, here we go. Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Five seconds. Five. Four. Five seconds here. Five seconds. Here we go. One, two, We'll just comb around a little bit and dance around. Here we go. Just spread it out a little bit. Let somebody else take the pressure for a second. Let it recuperate. I know. You're killing me. You're just killing me, Ed. All right, all right. Pull back a little bit. Ah. <sighs> 
Yeah, I think it's definitely more spread out. It's not as pinpoint. Yeah. Mm It's coming out, but I'm having to work a lot harder, and yeah. it's not coming out as dark. That's, so, that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's like the initial cleaning is over, and now we can just... I know it's still internally sore, but it's, we're getting layer by layer here. Okay with leg leg work on video or what would you? Yeah, that's okay. okay. You know, I, I mean, I'll yeah, it's okay. this way. And yeah, let's see if it helps somebody you know who has the same problem as me. You know, mm -hmm. then, uh, yeah, awesome. you know, uh, it'll make it'll make me happy. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Yeah. That's good. People sometimes get more comfortable once they see it. Yeah, you know, like when you're when you're in some kind of problem and you searching, searching for answers, mm -hmm. and if you see somebody and then they get something help them, you know. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. A year ago, I was watching. I came across the. Came across a YouTube video. Where this guy was on wrestling. Mm. He injured his neck, mm. and he was going. He was having dizziness problem for three months, and mm. this was. Uh, so he, he went to seen different doctors. Didn't help, and he went to a chiro. And mm -hmm. it was a, I didn't see a follow up video. I didn't see anything after. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I and I was on it for like a couple months. I said I might see something different. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm gonna come back, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's just just a video saying that mm -hmm. um, it's been helping his dizziness. Mm -hmm. So that's when I was I was looking forward. Um, mm -hmm. and just I said, you know what? I'll try every other options. Mm -hmm. yeah. Two areas I don't like so far is this little bit here, yeah. right there, yeah. and right here. Yeah. Two spots I found yeah. a little tangled.
right there. This was a little jammed up in the earlier adjustment. Come on. I got gotcha. you. Here we go. Come on, breathe. Take my breath away. Mm -hmm, I'll get you, Ed. Get you. Usually shin splints right here. Sometimes this will get. Yeah. Uh huh. We want to check these. Never, always go up on this and push that back down on the tibia. Not too bad. Right there. Mm hmm. <laughs> you know, feel a knot there. Mm hmm. A lot of this has to do with too much weight on your toes. Yeah. You know, this is where, because your head's forward, yes. this tension can will be here forever. We have to get your chest properly aligned, the weight back onto your heels, and then this tension will dissipate. So you always sort of want to check any athletes keeping the vastus medialis muscle, the inside muscle of the quad. This keeps the inside of the knee bound up and then the medial meniscus is where most knee surgery originates because mm -hmm. of this muscle being tighter and too much stress being placed on the inside of the knee. So releasing some of this sort of tension that builds up in here. It's not a question that really anybody even raises like why don't we wear out the lateral meniscus as quickly as the medial and it's like well because the medial is under more stress and it ages quicker. You don't need to live with these things in here. The, the, the more difficult ones are the ones due to posture. So they, they come back because the alignment has to be changed. And alignment's like a year. Yeah. You know, it's, it's depressing. That's why most chiropractors, I don't think, want to do it because it takes too much time. Exactly. It's a lot of time talking. It's a lot of time, you know, encouraging you and yeah. getting you to understand what you have to do. And, and we live in a world of, like, quick fix, you know, fast food. We want we want satisfaction immediate, and it's like it's not the way it works with posture, or orthodontistry, or it's a time thing, and yeah. you put the time in, and you the reward is great. So you come up, 
and down about ten times. Okay. The next step is you actually have your foot on the tape on the, with the pointed, not like that ever. Okay. Always like this. Okay. And you come down inside okay. of the heel. Try. Yes. Yeah, like this. And come out. Yeah. Oh, there oh, you go. Right, yeah. 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 Ten times down. There you go. So you pump. Yeah, it's like a pump. You're going to pump blood into that meniscus, okay. the so, vascular. So each exercise ten times? About ten times, yeah. Up and down ten times. Okay. Try the other knee. Yeah. Okay. Put that in the leg up there. Yep, you got it. Same thing with this one. Try it. Well, I would, yeah. if, you could do, if you could do that one that I showed you, yes. that would just go right to that one. Okay. You don't need to do this one. Okay. I do, you do the... Yeah, but I do the exercise on both. Correct. Uh, yeah? Okay. Right. And then this one. So, so you do the one... This one here. Right. If you, can, if you can handle that one. Yeah. There you go. Let me see your hands. Let me see. I'm just gonna see them. Hold on. I'm just gonna see them. Might as well check it. I don't think I've checked your hands. In. There we go. Get some lubrication on these. There we go. How are these guys doing up here? Yeah, it's just some uh, soreness. Uh huh. Over, yeah. over the years. Over the years, yeah. You always just push those down. No, no transfriction. You just sort of mash. Yeah. Those down. Yeah, this side it's always uh, a bit sore sometimes. Uh, you just mash. Hold. And that down, just hold. Okay. And then you can work the muscle sometimes, but resist a little bit. Resist. Lean back, lean back. There you go. There you go. Joints have been through some stuff. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Traumas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eight, eight years or over eight years. Uh huh. Let's push those down. And that guy just come right up onto it and then right there. Get a mash. I don't do any transfriction, just to sort of yeah. hold pressure on that. And then this you massage. So if you press. And then you try to put your hand back down on your belly. Does that make sense? If it'll yeah. stay there. It will be more effective the more times you do this. Your neck will comply with the mold better. Yeah. Sometimes initially it won't be so difficult. And then after a few weeks it becomes more difficult. Yeah. And you're like, why is that? Why is it getting harder? Because you're actually doing it properly. Okay. Your neck is starting to curve and bend over yeah. the device while initially it sort of stayed it rigid. That clarity and de-inflaming your neck, reducing tension off your spinal cord. Okay. And that will be your retainer so it's like I'm adjusting and then that should give you a longer distance between yeah. your adjustments okay, okay.